Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we will be trying to implement the schedule module of an existing app and um, I will just be implementing the basics, so the UI, not too much of the functionality. Okay, so uh, I'm currently inside the app here and I just have rendered a view on this page, on this screen. And uh, my next step is to implement this schedule. And if, if I'm starting for complete the scratch, um, the first thing I will do is basically try to see what options are out there when it comes to libraries. Because when you're working with dates and you need to create something as complicated as a calendar, it can get a little hairy. So you kind of want to see what are the options first. And I have uh, already had a look around, basically. So the one that I found was this uh, React Native Calendars. And basically, basically my approach was, um, first of all, looking for a maintainer. This is a little bit of a red flag, but I had a look around on basically all the options. And this one, I came basically came back to this one. And um, yeah. And the main feature that caught my attention was when I scroll down, first of all, they have a calendar date picker ish component here. Uh, some, some mm, interval selection here. Great. But the one that really caught my attention was not the calendar list was the agenda here. Cause this is exactly what I was looking for. And um, my next step was then to, uh, or my next step is going to be uh, grabbing that package. So inside uh, my project here, I would like to open the terminal and then do uh, yarn add, uh, in this case, React Native Calendars, React Native Calendars, just to install that. Now, since the, uh, it's the agenda component that I'm interested in, um, normally I would just copy in the example here, but as you can see, this example is pretty heavy. There's a bunch of props in here. And this is not really an example. This is just kind of to showcase or kind of like a documentation of how many props are actually here. So if I would copy this, I would get a a little bit of a weird looking calendar since it's returning empty views here for the days, for example. And also there's some theming going on here uh, and a calendar theme defined here that are not available in this documentation, you could say. So basically what I would do then is I would look for an example, example folder here in the project just to get started with something. And this one caught my attention and then go to source, then to screens and then the agenda component that I'm looking for. So here there's something that, that is interesting. So let me just copy paste this inside the app here and make sure I get the import right here. All right, so as you can see here, there are a bunch of methods that aren't defined, like render item, render empty date, and row has changed. So I'm just gonna remove those for now. And test ID, I'm not gonna do any testing in this video, so I'll remove that. And here are the items. So this item is gonna be some state, and uh, in this example, they're using a class component, so I just need to refactor that real quickly. And I can do that by adding a hook here. So items, set items, use state, and pass in an empty array. And then change this to items. Now items, low items for month. This one, uh, I need to have a look back here to see how that one is implemented. So it seems like it's calling this method load items. So just to have something to start with, I'm gonna reuse that. So in here, I'm going to remove this, this, I remove bind and 
this stuff and just just to find the function inside my component here. Actually, I'm just going to copy paste and then just refactor it slightly. So here, I'm going to say const load items equal function, and this function is just going to be a functional component like this. Now in here, you can see. Oh, let me remove this one. In here, you can see that it's using a helper function here called time to string. So I also need to copy that one in. So let me grab it. Where is it? Uh, it's here. Okay. So that one I can grab. And I can just define it outside the component. And similar refactor as before, like this. Now I can remove this here. Cool. Now since we it was a function, uh, sorry, a class component, we need to make sure that every time it says this start state, we need to just remove that. So let's get rid of this. Cool. Now down here when it says set state, we need to also refactor that to set items and then point at new items. Awesome. Now, is there anything else we need to refactor here? No, it doesn't look like it looks good. Now let's try to see if we can see anything in the app. So if I open up the app here, uh, it does seem to be complaining a little bit, but let me just try to refresh the app. There are some problems here. Let's see what we missed. All right, cool. It seems like this one at least needs to be an object. That's my mistake. Since we're using kind of like a map structure for the different dates, where each uh, key is a date string and then outside each date string there's an array of yeah different dates or events even so uh, let's see so it seems like it's not rendering too much but we did wrap our app in a view and i'm assuming this agenda is going to be a scroll view so let's just apply a flex one here see if that helps and uh, yeah there we go that helped a lot now we can see the component here. So we have the day selector at the top. We can even start dragging some stuff down. Maybe we don't want that. So let's just keep it for now though. But uh, we're missing something. We don't have any events here in our calendar, but we do see some spacing. So the events are being loaded in and creating some empty space, but nothing is being rendered out. So let's create that render day function. So to do that, let's go down here and then define render day. So if you're using TypeScript, you might not be getting this autocomplete if you didn't install the types. So to install the types, just go to your terminal and do yarn add types react native calendars okay so after doing that we can point at our render day function which is gonna be defined here so render day all right so how do we want to render a day now this can be done in many ways, but let's just uh, do it my way this time. So um, in this render day, we're gonna get an item out and this item is gonna be this stuff that we pushed into our array here. Uh, by the way, notice we do have a bunch of errors here and that's because nothing is typed. So we could 
fix that afterwards if um, to make this a little more clean. But let's just keep going with the render day function. So inside the render day function, let's render something. So I'm using um, um, React Native Paper for my uh, UI component library. So I'm going to be using some of the components from that library. If you don't know that library, I can recommend it. Uh, you have a look at it. It's uh, really great. I really like the style and the API is also great. So I'm going to start out by rendering a touchable past here. And that's just because I want to make it clickable later on. I want to have some something happen when you click on the events. So and inside here I'm going to rent out a card. And I'm going to be using the Regnated Paper Package. And I'm just going to make it very simple. So I'm, inside the card, I'm just going to have some content. And this card.content is just going to create some, um, some padding. And in here, I'm going to have a view. And inside this view, I'm just going to have some text. So I'm going to import typography element. Or component you can just import the text component from react native that's also okay and here i can do item dot let me see what do i have i have a name here i can grab so let's just i'll put a name there it does appear we do get an error here sorry i'm drunk it shouldn't be render day it should be render item ah uh, that's why i'm getting this error so let's change the logic here. All right, cool. That's that's better. Render item also makes a lot more sense. So uh, yeah, now we can actually see something in here. And uh, if you want to make it a little, little cooler, let's maybe add some styling here. So this view could be a legs direction row and we might have a justified content space between because we want to put two elements in here and we want them to have spacing and we might also want them centered so let's just add a little bit of styling here and then in here we can add another react uh, native paper uh, component being the avatar uh, text one and here we can just add a label and that label could just be j for example Ooh, now something that might catch your eye is that everything is so stacked in here. And when we watched that demo earlier, so if you take up Chrome, if you watch that demo earlier, there was some spacing there. So, hmm, how can we get that spacing? Yeah, if you watch here, you can see between the elements, there are definitely some spacing here. So it seems like it's not doing that automatically, but uh, actually, if we go into Agenda.js again, this example, we can see that they are defining a style sheet at the bottom and they actually have a little bit of margin here. So we can basically just grab those values if you want the same spacing. So let me just grab that and then apply it to my most odd outer um, component here. Cool. Now we have the spacing here. And uh, yeah, we, we are on our way. We are on our way to be creating a little schedule here with a pretty nice look and feel and not too much work done. Um, if you want to customize further, of course, um, going back to the docs, going back here, looking at the example and also just looking on the front page, looking through the different props here, you can do a lot to customize it. This was all I want to show you in this video. Um, so I hope you guys learned something. And if you are looking to create your own calendar, maybe this library could be useful. And uh, hopefully this example can get you started. All right, see you in.